Well, you'll be pleased to know, if indeed you are still watching, that we're nearing the end. However, before I leave you be, one last recommendation, followed by just a little bit of silliness. Many of you will surely be aware of a certain website which has, in a noble bid to encourage people to stay at home, rendered their premium service free of charge for the duration of the lockdown. In my book, however ignoble the site's reputation, anything that encourages people to stay safe in these uncertain times has my full support. However, if said website does not appeal to you, this next song provides examples of all sorts of other mediums that might arouse your more prurient interests. And well, here it is. It's called... Smut! Give me smut and nothing but A dirty novel I can't shut If it's uncut and unsut Told I've never quibbled If it was a ribble I would devour where others merely nibbled, as the judge remarked the day that he acquitted my Aunt Hortense. To be smutted must be utterly without redeeming social importance. Poor, no graphic pictures I adore. Indecent magazines galore. I like them more when they're hardcore. Bring on the obscene movies, murals, postcards, neckties, samplers, stained glass windows, tattoos, anything. More and more, I'm still not satisfied. Stories of tortures, they used to find debauchers, lurid, licentious, and vile. Make me smile. <laughs> Novels that pander to my taste for candor give me a pleasure sublime. Let's face it, I love slime. Oh, books can be indecent books, though recent books are bold of filth, I'm glad to say, is in the mind of the beholder. When correctly viewed, everything is lewd. I can tell you things about Peter Pan or the Wizard of Oz. There's a dirty old man. I thrill to any book like Fanny Hill. And I suppose I always will, if it is swill and really filthy. A hobby like tennis or photography. I have got a hobby and it's called internet pornography. I love these dirty sites with all the fervor I possess, and when I pray, I always say thank God for people in states of undress. In other words, smut, I love it. My laptop's practically glued shut. Oh, I'm a mark and they can't glut. I don't know what compares with smut. They're pimp hooray. Let's hear it for porn, but don't let them take it. I'm now going to sing a song for you that's, well, it's completely pointless. It's simply the names of the chemical elements set to a possibly recognizable bed of Gilbert and Sullivan, which may, on the surface of things, sound even more boring than your current predicament of staring at a white wall. However, one exciting thing, the performance instruction simply reads, as fast as possible. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neutronium, germanium, and ion, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, and adium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, and productanium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, romanesium, and beryllium, and barium. Isn't that fun? I hope you're all taking notes, because I'm going to quiz you next time. There's holmium, and helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and magnesium, mercury, and molybdenum, and magnesium, and silicium, and scandium, and cinnium, and cesium, and lepresudium, and platinum, and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, magnesium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, and calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's Calvin, Californium, and Fermium, Berkelium, and Ultimate, and Medium, and Tinium, Nobelium, and Ardrick, and Plenium, and Tintin, and Cabrodium, and Chlorine, Calvin, Cobalt, Carbon, Tins, and Tin, and Sodium. These were the only ones of which the news had come to Harvard. And we now know many others, but they haven't been discovered yet. 